Hey, my loves, it's your girl, Miss Meta X Soxa here. Come on in the room. I said, come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor, and he writes down all of my scriptures, and he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Whoa. Come on in my room, I said, come on in the room, Jesus is my doctor, and he writes down all of my scriptures, and he gives me all of my medicine in my room, whoa, come on in the room. I said, children, come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor, and he writes down all of my scriptures, and he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Hey, Danielle, one more time, loves. Come on in the room. Hey, Terrence. Oh, I said, come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor, and he, he writes down all of my scriptures, and he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Oh, my loves, I am feeling so, so good. Thank you. Thank you, Terrence, baby. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. Y'all follow Terrence. Um, when I say Terrence is a praying, one of my praying babies, that's a praying baby. Terrence is a praying baby. Bless his heart. He, he's a praying somebody. Praying baby. Thank you, baby. Um, I, how was everybody's day? I hope everybody had a wonderful day. Um, it's Friday. We're getting ready to go to the weekend. I know I'm a little later, um, than what happened, but I was just, I, I had, I had, to, I had to take a little, little, um, a, a, a little self care morning, if you know what I mean. Because every time, every now and then, people have to realize you, you, you grind, you hustle, but you gotta take a little self care. So I was not gonna not do a show today, but I I need to do a little self care this morning, just you know, and, and also just in in just encompassing the fact that my baby's got me to over 50 k in TikTok, and we're on the road to 10k, and um on here and Instagram the road to 5k, and you know we're we're, we're getting back on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because today I am starting to become very active. I'm gonna be very active if on Twitter, we're going to be tweeting some good stuff every single day. I won't be taking a day off on Twitter. Um, so follow me on Twitter at Miss Melly XOXO. Um, I am just so excited, my babies. Um, we are being super done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, more. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we be able to put that up here. Bake some muffins and clean and sew some sew some old stuff. Yes, my baby, do that. Yes, my baby, I love to hear that. Yes, yes. I had a good day. Good, good, Emily. Good, Emmy. Yes, I'm. I'm glad you had a wonderful day, my love. I'm so glad you had a wonderful day. Nation Radio 105. A shout out to them. Claire. Yes, we made. Oh, I love fudge. Do y'all did y'all make it like fudge brownies? Cause like I really love fudge brownies, but I love the um, I love the fudge brownies when they put like nuts on them. Like I'll eat any fudge brownie, but I really love the fudge brownie with the nuts on. I really really love that. Hey, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, it's Friday. Miss Molly, it's Friday. Miss Molly, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, it's Friday. Oh, my loves, I am so, so, so excited about this, this journey that I'm on. Um, um, because, um, I remember when I first started this show, um, I, um, I was so, well, I don't, I don't, I, I, I was like, oh, I don't have the right, um, the right setting. I don't have this. I don't have that. And I started on faith and now it is growing and growing and growing. And I am just so excited. And I thank you for all. I think for all my babies who are supporting this black trans woman, y'all, y'all, it means so, so much to me. It means so, so much to me, my babies. Happy Friday. Yes. Just, oh, just regular. Fudge. Well, regular fudge is all right. I like either one. I like the nuts better, but I love, I love me a good fudge brownie. I love me something about some chocolate. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So the talk for today, for today, let's celebrate black trans women. As we know, uh, black trans women are being murdered and being killed, but we, 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 
I, we always talk about the negative, but since it's Friday and we're, and, and we're getting ready for the weekend, let's talk about the positive. Let's talk about the fact that um, we have shows like Pose, which has the largest transgender cast ever in history. Um, we have like Laverne Cox, who is an Emmy nominated um actress as transgender woman. T. S. Madison is finna make her debut um on We T V as a black trans woman with a with a black with a reality show. But also I want to celebrate the other black trans I want to celebrate the black trans women who are who are making moves as activists as like Angelica Ross, Ashley Marie Payton, um Hope Giselle. And and you know what? I can now say I'm in that group and I consider myself I, I'm so thankful and I'm honored to be in the group to try to um advocate and let people know that black trans women are out here dying. Let them know that um, black trans women need resources, um, housing, um, employment. All these things are things that trans women need. But we are strong enough to where we can move on. Every protest you see, you see black trans women on the front lines. Let's not forget about um, Sister Marsha P. Johnson. Okay? The front lines. Say so we want our gay rights now. Okay? We see all these black trans women who are at the forefront putting their lives on the line and sometimes getting, getting, getting homophobic and transphobic comments from their own community. But yet we still fight on. I, I can't tell you my loves. I receive so much love in my DM. I receive so much love on my comments, but I do receive a lot of hate and malice in my DM. And honestly, until is at a point to where my spirit is so about hus about working and advocating to where, um, when somebody does something I know that's disrespectful, I just got, I just, I just quickly say, you blocked and I let it go because baby, it's not worth the, the, the effort. That I'm putting here to, 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 to feed into your negativity. Because we're here changing the lives of my LGBT babies. We're letting them know that we're, that we're valid. We're trying to get the trans, um, the deaths of trans women to go down. We're trying to make sure that the suicide rate of, um, young LGBT, excuse me, LGBT teens, gay, bisexual, trans, pangender, whatever, it goes down. I'm trying, I, 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 I'm hoping COVID can lift to where I can start traveling. I want to, I want to be able to go in these school programs and help. Help, help try to get implemented where we get where we get safe areas for um kids to where who are LGBTQ kids to where they know they're safe um because there's a lot of cyber bullying going on in the school system and especially with LGBTQ youth and I want to let my babies know that um it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how you're a member it matters that you are a human being it matters that you are alive and my babies walk in your truth if you are queer walk in your truth if you are bisexual walk in your truth if you are pansexual walk in your truth if you are transgender walk in your truth if you are non-binary walk in your truth if you are gender non-conforming walk in your truth if you are lesbian walk in your truth whatever my babies you are walk in your truth because we are gonna ooh we gonna rise my baby we gonna rise we are, we are, we are coming up and we're going to fight for these rights. And, and, and I tell my babies this. I know a lot of my babies cannot vote. So, um, but my, but my, but my, but my, but my followers who can vote, make sure you're voting in every election. I know so much we, we were so excited about getting Trump out of office, but we have to make sure we're also voting for at, at a local level because a local level is, is, is the levels that enact and help create these laws. These laws against, um, gay people and trans people and all these things. So we have to make sure that we're voting at a local level, level because we need more trans people in, um, in, 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 in local offices, in, in mayorships, in, in the Senate, in the Congress. Um, Sarah McBride was the first transgender um, elected to the, um, I believe it was the Senate. But we need so many more. We need so many more. We need, we need some black trans women in the Senate. We need some black trans women in, in Congress. Right now, with Kamala Harris leaving, um, uh, um, I believe right now, there is not a black woman in the Senate. And that is just, that is something we got to change. We got to get more black women in the Senate. Okay, we have to. You know, we have to get more black women in the Senate. Okay? Let me read some of these comments. Thank you for sharing your wonderful journey. Thank you, my baby. Afro, yes. Yes, my Afro. There are the joint. I wish voting blue in Wyoming made any sort of difference. It, 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 it it's, it's, we, if we, as long as we keep pushing, my baby, it's going to make a difference. We, we got to keep pushing, okay? I vote every election, but the state is so red that nothing is going to change. Baby, let me tell you something. We flipped Georgia. We flipped, um, I think someone else and we almost flipped Texas. So 
It takes time for things sometimes, my baby Claire. I, and, and I know you keep looking to see it don't matter. But your vote and your voice, my baby Claire, it is it matters. It matters to LGBT plus people. It matters to trans people. So never stop voting, my baby, because because your vote matters, Claire. I promise you. I promise you it matters, okay? I promise you, my baby, it matters, okay? Hey people Truth Radio, how are you? So we have to make sure that we're amplifying. And, and I want to say, I want to also say this. Thank you, my loves, for the way you are amplifying my platform, the way you are amplifying for a black trans woman, because we are making sure that trans people are getting these rights. We're going to fight. Um, also, People Truth Radio, I saw you alive um, out there helping the homeless. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, that is a work. That is a gift. That is a purpose. And I thank you for helping the less fortunate, because that's what we have to do. We have to make sure that we're helping the less fortunate. And I'm just so, so happy today. I got joy all on my, I got just joy and all in my spirit and I'm so, so happy my babies, okay? We will never stop voting. Yes, never stop voting because we need to keep voting to make sure that we enact these rights and these laws that are needed, my baby. Yes, 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 my baby. Yes, let's do it. Ooh, I'm feeling good, my baby. Ooh, I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm feeling good. I feel good. I feel good all over. I feel good, my baby. Woo, woo. Okay. We will never stop. Yes, we will never stop. Oh, my babies. Thank you so, so much. Yes, my baby. People Truth Radio. Yes, my baby. I see you. I see you. Auntie out here grinding. I be, I, I see you. Don't think, don't think I, don't think I don't see you, my baby. I see you, my baby. I see you. Yes, I do. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for all that you do to thank you, my baby. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Okay. Um, anybody, um, have any comments? Um, I don't want to leave right now. I'm not leaving right now. I just want to know if anybody have any comments, anything they want to talk about else. Um, anybody want to come on live and talk, whatever you want to do. This is, this is just a good feeling Friday and we're celebrating trans women. We're celebrating trans and LGBT rights. Anybody have any comments, anything they want to talk about? We are so thankful for the fact that LGBT plus people are moving on and trans people are getting rights. We are so, so, so thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Maybe I love each and every one. I see you. I see you too. I see you too. Okay. I see you too. My babies. Okay. My babies. All right. Who? Are, I want to see who are all in the room. Let me see. Yes. Hey, Terrence. People Truth Radio. The UG. Miss Molly. Alex and Claire. I thank you so so much for being in this live. Um. Any any um. Any other topics anybody want to want to come on? Because I, I came in here to just really rejoice my babies, and I don't want to leave right now. I don't want to leave right now. So I really want y'all to join us. Um, also, make sure that if you are um, in a position to be able to help a black trans woman, um, even if it's someone on the streets when it comes to food or housing and employment, make sure you're doing what you can do. And not only just black trans women, make sure LGBT plus um, people, especially LGBT plus teens, because um, they have it. Hey, they have it very hard because they're not yet. Um, they're still minors, and it's a lot of things that they have to go through. Um, okay. Hey, just, just, can we talk about mental health within the LGBT plus community? Yes, we can talk about that. Hell, hey, I am just me. Hey, just, hey, just, just. Ooh, hey, just, I'm feeling good today. Um, just, ooh. I love it. Okay, so we're going to talk about mental health. Okay, so Claire had a question. Can we talk about mental health in, within the LGBT plus community? Um, a lot of people... Um, especially in the LGBT plus community, especially within the black community, um, don't seek mental health. And mental health is something that is very, very, um, it's, especially in, within the black LGBT plus community, it's always taught that, oh, if you go see a psychiatrist or something, you're crazy, um, or things of that nature. And especially with, with dealing with that and with being in the church, it is a hard, hard thing. And I tell anybody, it, if you go seek mental health, it does not make you, it does not mean you're crazy. It does not mean you're not smart. It does not mean you failed. Because to me, for somebody who actually seeks out mental health, to me, that takes a courage. That takes a strength to be able to do that. Because not everybody will do that. Some people just say, I'm going to try Jesus. That's all right. And don't, and, and don't get me wrong. Sometimes with some people, that works. Like, for example, I've never seen a psychiatrist. I've always depended on my strength and, and, and God and Jesus. But I have to understand that everybody ain't me. Just like um, there's some, there's some there, that's an area that I'm very strong in. There are other areas I'm not as strong in. So we have to realize that a lot of LGBT plus people are not strong in the area of mental health. And my babies, there is nothing wrong with that. If you need to talk to somebody if you need to um 
A, a lot of times, when, especially with the LGBT plus community, we see so much anger and, and, and hate and just rage. And a lot of that stems from things that happened maybe in your childhood, maybe a situation happened. And so we need to make sure we are getting the fundamental help we need to make a, to make sure that we as LGBT plus people can live our best life, live our, live our life functionally and make sure, um, and, and just make sure that, 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 that we're able to uh, be a benefit to society, okay? Hey, 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 who else we got there? Hey, Mr. Jeremy Carl, how are you? Jeremy. Okay. Um, Miss Molly, I just want to share that I'm competing in speech and debate with a speech I wrote about transgender life and well-being. Go ahead, Miss Molly. Go ahead, Miss Molly. I would. I wish I was be able to be there. I would, if I could be there, I would love to hear your speech. I really would. Yes, I'm Christian, and I'm working on spreading the word that mental health is important everywhere, even in the Christian community. Thank you, my. We we need more Christians like you, Miss Molly. We need more Christians like you because of the fact everybody who say they are Christian and a Christian. We got a lot of religious folks walking around. See, it's a difference between, I said this before, it's a difference between religious folks and Christian people. Because Christian people have an unconditional love. Christian people um, take God with them and, 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 and they live by the word of, 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 by love that God can give you. Whereas religious people, they, they do things like spin the words, um, sp try to spin things in the Bible to, um, bash LGBT plus people. And a lot of times the ones that try to, excuse me, bash LGBT plus people so much be the main ones. If you look in that closet, baby, what you will find will shock you. Just being honest. Okay. It will shock the mess out of you. Okay. All right. Mental health is key. Yes, Terrence, mental health is very, very important. It is so, so, it is just so, so very, very important. It is just, it is so, so important, okay? All right. Um, for, yep, you're right, Alice. I also have a beautiful experience through therapy. So much of my life has been positively impacted by the, oh, I am, mm, thank you. Thank you for that comment because, that is a testimony and, a, and an example within that passion to let somebody know that through therapy, they can get a, a understanding, a healing and everything that they need. Thank you for that, my baby. Thank you. Thank you. OK, good evening. Good evening, beautiful. How are you? How are you coming into my life? OK, how are you? Because I decided long ago never to walk in anyone's. I love you, my baby. I'm working on becoming a mental health counselor. I'm supposed to be hearing back from counseling grad school today. My baby, I hope you get it. I'm going to say a special prayer for you tonight, and I just hope that you get it, okay? Therapy is so transformative. I just had an appointment today. Oh, okay. Great. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy that 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 um it is actually a therapy session that is working for you because sometimes people go through they have to go to th different therapists before they find one that works for them. Um, I'm so glad that you found one that works for you. Just yes, black trans women are beautiful. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Just yes. Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. Thank you, just yes. I'm good. Love you. I'm good. Love you more. I love you so much more too. Thank you, my baby. I'm in therapy. Okay, you're in therapy now? Good, good, good. I'm happy for anybody who is in any kind of therapy because it helps you so, so much. Um, make sh And we have to make sure that in the LGBT plus community, that mental health is such a thing that is so, so needed. And make sure if you do need mental health, make sure you go get mental health. As I said before, it does not make you crazy. It does not make you uneducated. uneducated. It doesn't make you stupid, anything like that. It takes a courage and a strength to admit um, when you need help. And that takes a brave, bold soul. So if you are somebody in the LGBT community who needs therapy, baby, don't be afraid to get it. It's, it, it do not be afraid and don't worry about what people are going to say. The uh, mental health has an impact on physical health. Yes, it does. If your mental health is not right, it will make you tired. It will make... Um, it was it, it, it certain elements in your body because because you you have to realize when we're happy we release endorphins endorphins are, are released a lot when you're happy when you, when you're dealing with depression you're not releasing a lot of endorphins. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I see you, niece. Um, hey, my loves. Come on in the room. 
Yes, that is, that is so, so true. We have to. And um, understand this. Um, whatever you have to do to make you feel better, do not worry about what society got to say. Do not worry about what your friend got to say. Because let me tell you something. You only have one life to live. Live your life. Okay? Like that song back in the day with Rihanna T.I. T. said, just live your life. Live your life. Because you only got one life to live, my baby. That is so true. Thank you, my baby. I finally made a lie. Yes, my baby made a lie. Niece made a lie. Hey, how you doing, niece, niece? How are you today? How was your day? So we got people, we, we got to make sure that we're doing everything that we need to do. Okay? We, we, we're doing everything we need to do, my babies? Okay, good. Um, Anybody else have anything they want to talk about? We, 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 I'm just celebrating Black Trans Women, but I'm kind of doing like a Freestyle Friday thing with the topics because I'm, I just, I'm just so enjoyed about everything. I just want to, I want, I want to check in with my babies. Okay, um, I'm just, I suffer from depression and bipolar. I'm not ashamed to admit I'm 33 and about to be 34. That takes courage. That takes strength. That takes a well-being to be able to be in alive and admit what you do and become you. But my baby, Jess, that is strength. You have a strength within you, my baby, that you don't know you have, okay? That takes strength. And I am so, so, so proud of you. Auntie is so, so proud of you. Because that takes a strength. And by you doing that, you are gonna be, you're going to become the you ooh, the, the, the woman you're going to become, the greatness you're going to have, my baby. Ooh, my baby, get ready for it. Get ready for it, okay? How long have you been natural? I love that. I've, just, I've been kind of natural underneath the, um for about maybe a year. I, um, I did a perm, and after I did the perm, I had a lot of breakage and stuff. And so um, I started doing wigs and stuff for a while. But um I just got to where I just... Sometimes things are a journey, and I just got to where I was like, I just want to go on a natural hair journey. I just, I just really want, and I, and I did it one day, and I just fell in love with it. Not saying I may not rock a wig every now and then, but I'm really, really loving my natural hair. I'm really, really loving. Okay. Happy birthday in event. Oh, look at you. Okay. Can we talk? Can we talk about um, people of color, especially Black people, have been suffering from COVID? The most? Yes, Black people have been suffering from COVID the, definitely the most. Um, a lot of that comes from the fact, the fact that matter also is because of the fact that a lot of Black people have to um, have to have to go into these essential jobs and work and work and work, and especially take care of family. Where um, every, everybody's suffering. Don't get me wrong, because COVID, but there are people who are able to go work from home. And, um, and, and, and a lot of people who are able to live off certain income they made or different things in nature. And a lot of, um, people of color are not able to do that. They, they have to take essential jobs. You know, for me, um, I'm up here trying to do my thing from home and, and it's not easy. So as, as people of color, we are all struggling and we have to, we have to make sure that we're checking on each other. Make sure we're checking on each other because especially if you're somebody, if, especially if you're a, a white, a, a Caucasian person and you know you have a friend who's a person of color and you know they're struggling, any way you can help, any way you can use your privilege, use it. Use it to help your brother. Use it to help your sister. Use it to help people of color because we need it. We need it so, so bad, okay? That's why I'm in therapy. I'm now getting together. Baby, yes, you're getting together and you're going to be great with it, okay? Miss Molly. Awesome. Yes, Terrence. Awesome testimony. Awesome testimony. Okay, trans. Epidemics always affect people of color and those in low SES groups. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I'm telling you, really, Wes, it's also affecting a lot of um, black and brown kids because a lot of these, um, a lot of the the wealthier schools um, are not able to do all. The, a lot of wealthy schools are able to do a lot of things with social distance and things of that nature to protect kids. Where a lot of the lower black and brown community schools are not able to do that, and 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 the teachers are having to take um you know precautions and protection to try to be able to teach and educate our black and brown kids in lower communities, and that should not be the problem because every child, no matter what color, should be able to receive um the education they need, and that's why I'm so glad that that doggone Betsy divorce divorce whatever her name is quit as um. We got her out of office as Secretary of Education because she didn't do nothing for our kids and hurt trans and hurt a lot of trans issue kids. Um, a lot of uh, helped to implement with, through Trump a lot of issue, a lot of um laws that help to hurt trans kids and LGBT plus people um in, in um school. The healthcare experience and vaccination distribution has been reaching the majority of black communities the least. Yes, it has. 
it's been it's been reaching people of color, black people, black and brown communities the least. Period. Ain't no lie about that. No lie about that, Miss Miley. You didn't lie. Not you did not tell not one lie about that. Claire, um, Claire, the healthcare experience is always especially negative and dangerous for black women. Claire, if you didn't tell no truth right there, my baby, if you didn't tell the truth right there, cause black. <sighs> Black and black women be the main ones that be in in, in these healthcare centers, and the main one be the nurses, and do not get the respect. Main ones, yep. Thank you, Miss Melody, for saying that. I said all the time, I love you all for greatness. You are, you are greatness, and you are great. You are wonderful. You are everything, my baby, baby. Okay, love you. I love y'all with all my baby. When I say I love y'all, my love so much, y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all to death. Y'all just don't know how much I love you. And we have so many good things coming. And we are pushing. And I thank you, my babies. I thank you so, so much. I thank you so, so much. Okay? All right. Mm, my babies, I love y'all so much. I love y'all. Baby, I love y'all. I love y'all. Roll call. Shout out again. Terrence. Lady T, the UG, Miss Molly Claire, and I am just, okay? I love my babies. We are doing everything we need to do, okay? All right, my little whoo. My babies. I, I I just love y'all so, so much. Um, and I thank you, my loves, for everything that you do. I love you too, Miss Molly. I thank you for everything you do. And I want and I want to make sure that you know that no matter what you're going through, we're all going through things. Let me tell you something. If you honestly knew. My loves, with everything Auntie go through, you will you will say you will ask yourself, how Auntie, how are you able to come in here and inspire us and smile? Because it's within me, it's within me to help my community. It's within me to help people who are less fortunate. It's it's, it's within me to help um help my babies. It's within me, and I thank you for everything you do. I don't take anything for granted, like okay. Love you, Miss Miller. I love you. I love you too, my baby. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Um. I see you in the future. You look better. I see you walking in favor and prosperity. Yes, Terrence. Preacher Terrence. I just ordered the book White Fragility in order to become a better ally. Mm, I've read some of that. It, it is actually a good book. I got to get back and read another. That is, that is a pretty good book. It really is. It really is. Um, I'm, I'm planning on probably next week. I really want to do a show on reference material. Uh, I've been planning it out, but I'm, I really want to try to do something like that next week. That's what I want to try to do next week. We're going to try to do that, okay? We're going to try to do that, okay? My babies, I want to say this. Remember, you are special. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are everything that you need to be. And do not let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? All right? My loves, you are wonderful. You're beautiful, okay? Who? I, ooh. I just had to make sure I come on here and I make sure I tell my babies how wonderful they are, how great they are, and everything you need to be, okay? All right. Well, my loves, this has been this has been a wonderful, wonderful show, okay? What else we got? After the show, I'll see you later praying for you, my dear. Thank you, Miss Molly. This has been a wonderful show. I thank you for everybody in the live. Before we leave, another shout-out roll call. Make sure you follow Terrence. Make sure you follow Lady T, The Ugg, Miss Molly Claire, and I am just. And I thank you, my love, for everybody else who left the room and came back in. Thank you for all you're doing with supporting this black trans woman. Thank you for liking and sharing. And thank you for everything you give to help make this platform grow and be better than what it is. I thank you because great things are coming. Okay, my loves? I love you, my love, so, so much. Okay? I will see you guys on Monday. Mm, possibly. We might do something. We can. But either way, I love you, my loves. Okay? Bye.